Okay, so Christina is calling in. Christina, what happened? Skippy, I am so... I hate being single. I hate being single so bad. Today's topic. Um, we got a video here from Skippy. I haven't watched a Skippy video in a minute. Someone sent me this one's unlisted. I have been looking and looking and looking to try and get a date for the Kenny Chesney concert, which is tonight. I've called all my A-list friends, the uh, girls that I know that I find to be extremely attractive and available and amazing, and none of them could go. <laughs> like, not a single one. And None of them could go? None of them could go. <laughs> none of them could go? Maybe they were busy. Maybe they were busy. I'm gonna just say this. There is something very interesting about the fact that he defines them as like very good friends and the first thing he defines them by is how attractive they are. And that's how they're A-list. You know, like when I think of going somewhere with my friends, I don't think about how attractive they are. I think of like, who am I gonna get along with and it's gonna make the experience better. You that's a good friend. How is she a good friend? I wanna bang her really bad. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, I've been checking for a few weeks now, right? Well, uh, it's crunch time. We're lit at 4.40. The concert's at like 7.30 or something like that. And I've now posted like four or five messages on Facebook. I know that I can get an ugly girl to go with me, so I don't want to just settle, right? And I've had guy friends, you know, even joke one jokingly. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Yo, you know when I talk to you about the whole idea of like male and women being friends? Most of the time I'm talking about dudes like this. Yeah. I see what you're If you're talking about dudes like this, yeah, I see what you're saying. Oh. 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 It's like, bro, you live in your mom's basement. Does not a meme, you literally do. He's got a belly button lint collection. Here's my poster of the Osmonds, and over here is my belly button lint collection. <laughs> he dressed up in drag to go with me. And that's not the point of this. I want to go with someone that I'm attracted to, that there's a chance. So no one that's married should be going with me, guy or girl, right? And um, there should be at least a chance that there's some chemistry, right? Guy so or girl, because now he's desperate. Because now he's just, you know what? <laughs> you're not. Yeah, well, listen, dude, you're taken. And your girl's taken, too, because. <laughs> You imagine they get a divorce and he's hitting on both of them? Yeah, because you know, <laughs> why not? Okay, so let me tell you how this went down. So there was this girl that I found online that said that she could go, and this was at like 5.30ish, right? 6.30 comes around, I call her. No answer, goes straight to voicemail. I call her a second time, straight to voicemail. I'm waiting, I go online and I start looking. And I even said no, excuse me, to work so that I, on the hopes of this, and then finally I see this girl that I've had a crush on for a while, uh, but she's given me a let's just be friends song. And so I've kind of settled into, okay, there'll never be anything there. Now, get this with her, okay? Her thing is, uh, she asks me, uh, yeah, I can come, um, but can I, you don't mind if I take off a little early. So as soon as we get done, she wants me to drop her off at the drive-in movie so her and her real date tonight can go to it but she doesn't mind pushing him back in lieu of being able to go to the concert so that's what's going on yeah because it's not a date skippy i'm gonna say this she says she's, it's not a date so she's gonna go back to you and be like you know yeah let's go see this movie whatever we're still friends so you skippy shouldn't take that as a date on the other hand don't stay friends with people that stay friends with you just because they want to bang you don't do that. Don't. True. Don't do that. It goes both ways. For some people that say that it doesn't exist, you put yourself in the friend zone, sure. But if you know you're staying friends and that person always lingering and in the hopes of, don't stay friends with that person. Cut it off. But how am I going to get my free concert tickets? Exactly. 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 Yes, that. As much as we want to blame Skippy, that? No. Wait. Are you saying she's using her position of power over him to get free stuff? No, because she doesn't have a position of power. He has a position of power. He has a camera. But you don't see the power dynamics in this? No, no, no. He's the one that has her. the power. 
And she's just taking free things no, from him? No, he has the power. She cannot have the power. Okay. Why would she have the power? How could she have the power? Huh. I just thought that sometimes attractive women have power over the... No, they don't. Okay. Ever. It's just... Okay. No? Is she a man? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going... <laughs> Sorry, I'm on some petty shit today. I know. Me too. Is she a man? No? Can't happen. Petty! Petty! girl that I was supposed to go on a date with and uh, leave a voice message and tell her what I think of her. Um, and maybe we'll even get a chance to uh, talk to her on the phone. But I doubt it. So... Back number Hi, Christina. It's uh, Skippy, and you'll notice that on Facebook I deleted you as a friend because I think that you were a giant bitch. But agree with the floor I agree with the floor the floor is right on that one good job yeah I agree with you yeah I, everything you said floor everything you said I feel like toxic is the, is the only I don't know I don't know yeah you know what's crazy though you know what's crazy you see this in movies sometimes people get voice messages like you hear about stuff like this me personally I've never heard it because I, again I'm not a woman and I don't you know they don't send me this. Oh, I've, I've had people tell me that these kinds of things happen um, it's just wild to hear someone just say like, you fucking bitch and all this other stuff. It's like, someone rejects you, just move on with your day, you know? And you set up everything to get rejected is also. Like, this, yeah. Guys, th wow. th this is exactly how you don't take a rejection. If someone stands you up, they're not that into you. If someone responds to something you said and they're like, yeah, I'll be there. And then they lie and they're not that into you. People who are into you are going to make an effort. So when you take this and you take this huge like blow, when you feel the need to like get back at them, you don't look good. You make yourself look dumber. They're not that into you. And you only look more desperate and angry. And that energy that you give off is going to push more people away. That Super resentful thing. Super weak. So yeah, on, on this part, man, yo, Skippy be doing some crazy stuff. Like, Beta. And don't think it's just him. There's a lot of other people who do stuff yep. like this. That's beta right there. By going to sleep and then not waking. And I get the accidents happen. Don't get me wrong. And that might even be. Nope, that's not you calling in. Someone else. Um, but I get that you were trying to. Uh... You imagine if it was her call and say, hey, Skippy, sorry. I just woke up, but I'm ready. I'm just getting dressed right now. Okay, cool. I'll see you in like 20 minutes. Then she hangs up. She hits the voice message. She hears that. <laughs> you were gonna take a nap or something like that? Anyways, uh, my whole deal is this phone call is to tell you that you're a bitch and I really don't wanna talk to you again. Even if you have a great excuse, you promise. I was pretty mean with that, right? But I'm pissed. That should not happen. And now I guess, yeah, now I'm a big dick, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a really bitter kid right now. I hate. Right now? Right now only? Hey, man. If you see yourself in any of this behavior, yeah, just try to correct it. Listen, at the end of the day, it's not like I sit here and I want terrible things for Skippy or anybody else. Like, you know, there are certain behaviors that you engage in that will contribute to your own demise. And I think it's important for us to recognize that that stuff hurts the people around us and hurts us ourselves. So there is some responsibility to be better. Um, when I watch Skippy doing this stuff, I'm just like, bruh, can't be doing that. I hate being single. I hate being single so bad. The only, the only reason why I'm like, why I don't just like lower my standards and go out with and go after like a girl that I'm not attracted to at all, or um, change my standards and go for a girl that uh, would probably go out with me but isn't any 
anywhere near what I consider my type. The only reason that I do all that is because I have the hope that on the horizon that there's something better, right? So you just like go, okay, this is just a phase I'm going through. Well, this phase has been going on for 33 years. Okay, now the first, you know, 16 shouldn't count, but okay, so 17 years of my life has just been, okay, in two years for a Mormon mission. Do you expect me to have sympathy for you? Is that what I'm supposed to? I'm so, oh, 17 years? Lower your standards. What do you want me to tell you? Lower your standards. I would say this to a woman. I would say this to you as well. It's like, if you go onto the dating world and the people you keep trying to go afterwards are not interested in you, it's either one of two things, all right? Either your standards are too high, okay? If it's 17 years worth of rejection, either your standards are way too high, okay? And you need to humble yourself. Or two, the problem is your behavior when you engage in these relationships and you need to humble yourself and look at your own behavior. It's one of those two things. They're like, oh, the dating sucks. No, you suck. You're the problem. Because at the end of the day, if it's been 17 years, 17 years and it's been consistent that you've been having the same result for 17 years, the common denominator is you. Yeah. You're the common denominator in all those situations. So you have to change your behavior. I don't know how to say it to you, but it is what it is. Okay, and it doesn't matter how long it's been going—17 years. I, I don't care. I've been I've been uh, going to the bathroom and taking dumps for 38 years. Mm, I'm planning on doing that for a couple of other years. It's still shit that's gonna come out of my ass. Don't matter how long you do it. It's what you do. If you were on the job market and you were applying to a bunch of jobs for 17 years and got rejected every time, I want to get a job that pays me 20 and none of them hired you, maybe you got to take a job that only pays $15 an hour. That's what we would tell you as a grown adults. There's nobody who would feel sympathy for you if you were constantly looking for that job and you never got it. So why would you think it's any different for the marketplace? It's because people have this arrogant view that they deserve somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't deserve anything. Mm -hmm. You're not owed anything in this world. Mm -hmm. You just get what you get. Mm -hmm. So either put in the work or stop crying. And, and, it's, and it's that job, that job that you're applying for, you have to check, is your resume good? Yep. Do you have the good credentials? Yep. Are you, how do you go to? Are you even applying? Are you, how, how are you applying? Are you even applying? are talking about I wish I could win the lottery and you never buy a ticket boo you don't even know how to play the goddamn game for a Mormon mission so 50, what's that 15 years 15 years of my life of horrible luck with the ladies you know sign of a gun Brevity. okay so Christina is calling in so that's what you call me Christina what happened Eddie, I am so so sorry um, my phone died. Planning on going with you. I did not. Well, I was dead. Like, well, I really am sick. Like, I've, I've been dealing with these sitting issues all week and then killing myself physically. And I, I'm sick. I'm lightheaded. I was going to go to a concert with you. And I said, well, I, I think it would be fun to, to talk to you and get to know and you have a, a great personality. I wasn't going to the concert because I was excited to go to the concert. Honestly, Dark Light, I kind of have a headache of migraine. Dark Light, movies, cool settings sounded great. But I was like, you want to all go. Um, and then I'm ADD and it's even worse when I'm tired. I get distracted and things like this happen. I can understand how you be upset, but I think that's a little bit immature of you to go to that street. Okay. Um. <laughs> uh, well, hey, uh, my date just got here, so I'm gonna hang up. But uh, take care, and uh, yeah, Th this is the girl I was supposed to go with. Okay, uh, take care. Bye. You thought you were petty. You thought you were petty, and then Skippy went, "Hold my beer, hold my mar margarita, hold my sangria." I'm about to take you to Petty Town. Won't you take me to Petty Town? Won't you take me to Petty Town? Remember watching Recess? Remember watching Recess and the yep. Snitch? Yeah. And you'd get a wedge every now and then, yeah. and you'd be like, yeah, good. There are certain kids you just look at, man. Man, f*** them up. Throw them over the... When, when the kid been a little bitch all day, yeah. and then he falls around, yeah, and you're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bump, you bump your head. That's right. That's what I you mean. get. This is what I mean. You, you bring that sh
Cast energy onto your next date. This woman walks in. She's like, yeah, what's wrong with this? Bruh. And you know, the worst part is like when you leave all these experiences on a bad term, you know, word gets around. People talk. Oh, so yeah, you dude. ruined the rest of your dating pool as well. Guys, like I said, when you take a rejection, we put you did another video on another guy who gets rejected. Take it like him. Walk away as best as you can. Take your L, take it, hold it high. Be like, you know what? That's mine. That's right. And then maybe, keep it moving. Keep and it then moving. Maybe if you catch a second one, you're going to turn it around and make it a W. That's it. That's it. Chad. Skippy needs to meet Chad. Yup. Yep. Skippy needs to meet Chad. Yup. Remember Chad? Yup. Yup. Whenever the girl was trying to play, and he was like, all right, cool, whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he went with it. Yeah. Like, and I'm sure Chad got a bunch of DMs after that. Definitely. Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. You want to advertise yourself? <laughs> that's one good way to do it. Take the L like a champ. You yeah. took it. And that's not even a dating thing. That's an everything life, everyday life thing. Like, you go to a job, you know what I mean? You go for an interview, they reject you. Don't walk out cursing everybody and getting mad because you didn't get the job. I didn't want that job anyway. Because guess what? They might call you back in the future to hire you. That's happened numerous times. Guess what? When you piss off that recruiter who happens to be the one who recruits there, well, that recruiter sometimes has to recruit for other companies. So it might come back to bite you then. Walk away so cleanly. You know, she was generous with her excuse and she was much kinder than I would have been if someone left me the kind of toxic stuff that he did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, maybe she also did so for her own safety. Who knows? Yeah. And she said you're immature, but that, that yeah, you don't, you yeah. never yeah. know. Yeah. You never know. Because yeah. yeah. the way he's acting. It is immature. Okay. Sorry, it's really tough to hang up on a person and drive and and video, and video all at the same time. Yeah. I know. What's up, Skippy? Yeah, I decided to uh, videotape the adventure of uh, today. Okay. But yeah. Let's all right. It. Let's go do it. Who's likes when you're in the club and someone has to get in here? My name's Lisa. Huh? Lisa! And a little bit of slob comes out and hits you on the side. You, you, me, I always like looking at people talking to the club. Because sometimes you see one person being like this. Yeah. And the other person leading in yeah. like this. Yeah. And they just keep leading like this. Yeah. And pushing on this shoulder right here. And the person is really trying to get away. And then you're like, no! Lisa, I like grinding on you without your consent for 30 seconds. Can I buy you a drink? Huh? Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> Uh, you know what the best parts about going to clubs is sometimes last call comes around and the last call passes and they turn on the lights yeah. and you see the girl you were dancing with yeah. you like ooh god damn oh you look different with sweat and all this other stuff coming down diff diff you smell different too mm -hmm. that shit diff diff yeah <laughs> <laughs> definitely and so now she's about to get out of my car and leave for date number two. And he apparently did not know that you were you were on one date going to another. <laughs> and that's why she was late. So uh, have fun telling him about that. Thanks for coming I with know, me. I know, now that he's there watching us, right? Yeah, now he's paying for her, though. We're watching him pay for her. Uh, she doesn't want me videotaping him, but let's see. That's uh, you can't. See, no, you can't see his face. There's So there he is paying for that. Oh, we done. Bro. My hand has an imprint of my face because I face palm so much. My man's is b -b bugging. My man slapped the own chastity belt on his penis. I, I ain't never heard of that. I ain't never heard a man slapping no chastity belt on their penis. He then swallowed the key. No, he didn't even swallow it, man. He 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 f Thanos that. Cause swallowing it means he has a chance to f it out and dig it back out. My man made that shit disappear. There's no way he's coming out of the, the virgin realm. The shadow realm, virgin realm, okay. So that's the end of uh, date number one for you, and yeah. you're on to date number two, and I'm on to a drive home. I'm on to Kenny Chesney. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. I, I, of course, was Billy uh, Carrington. Let's go. There's not much left. <laughs> Let's get this shit done. Huh? Last, 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 last mile? Last stretch. All right. Um, Although there, Billy pal. Carrington is pretty hot. Even though he's just the opening act. Yeah. Right? Well, he's no Kenny. I though. didn't know who he was, and I was like, yeah. he's pretty attractive, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, good, luck, uh, good luck with Kenny. Okay, thanks. Here's the thing, though. I want to point this out. If Anella had made any effort to have been cute and flirty and everything like that. Now, granted, I know that she wants to just be friends, and... I get that. The nice thing was I was able to stare at hot girls while I was on a date with her. 
So that was nice. I mean, like, really, I was able to, like, there was a girl in front of us that had, like, a great butt, and I didn't feel bad at all for looking at, at that girl's butt um, because she was not my date, really. She was just a friend. Anyways, but if she had made a small effort uh, to have been a little bit flirty or something like that, then um, she would have gotten this, and I'm going to turn it on. Oh, ho, ho, check that out, because I bought one for me and one potentially for her, but Anella, you treated me too much like a guy friend. It wasn't really a date, it was me hanging out with a person that happened to have a right? But didn't feel like a girl thing or whatever, even though Anella's... Man, you know what? You know what? I ain't even tripping. Man's a virgin, I say good. You know what I mean? If, if you're going to be this mean to other people, then, you know, whatever you get, I'm just not going to feel that bad for you. You ain't. Yeah, I hope you stay safe. Go in nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. It's like, you can't be stopped now because you're a virgin for life. Yo, listen, there's an irony in the fact that like, I wouldn't go out with a, 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 an ugly girl because that's lowering my standards. What do you think every hot girl who get with you is doing? <laughs> Not going out with you. I mean, not only not are you ugly family. in terms of your your physical looks, but your personality. Oh yeah, it's all ugly. Is, is is a zero out of ten. You very know why you ain't got no alibi. M O M A. Why do you think you got that way? Literally, literally. Listen, your mama. Listen, this is what I'm gonna say. Okay, you can either lower your standards, or you can die alone. All right. All right. So buy a dog, buy a cat, buy a lizard, whatever it is that you want to do. Collect lint. Die alone. Die a virgin. That's how it be. I have zero, zero, zero sympathy None. for people who arrogantly go into the dating world, mm -hmm. have absolutely no success because of the fact that they're constantly chasing beautiful people. And it's really just their behavior that makes exactly. them, that put them in that predicament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you have standards that are too high and you can't get any success, that's your fault. Yep. I'm not going to feel sympathy for you. Don't expect it from me. None. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to get it from most people. So if you're out there and you keep going, oh, I can't find any hot one, lower your standards. That's it. That's all I got. And I hope you stay single until you rectify your ways because whoever gets to be in a relationship with you, that's gonna be a I'm bit, terrified for. Yeah, that's going to be a bit, bit awkward. Jesus freaking Christ. Yeah. And the worst part is that you read the comments. You read the comments. Yeah. But anyways. That's it for today's video. Let us know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy? And if you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, mm. all that good stuff, all right? The audacity! Oh